Thursday. No, it's not. It's Wednesday. It is uh, it's the last day. I'll be 37 years old. I mean, I feel like I'm 18 though. It's crazy. You know, like when I was young, this used to, like 37, seem like an old geezer. But man, I feel super young. But anyways, it's uh, Wednesday. Headed to Durham to Imperial Center Business Park today. Always a great shift. It's gonna be like 85 degrees. It's like the first day of real heat. Uh, so as you'll at this point have probably already seen, um, made a trip to Dick's to buy two tailgate tents. So we'll stack those one, two, so people can be underneath the shade. It's a huge difference being out in the middle of the sun versus being underneath the shade when you're waiting. Um, because our product does take a little time to make. So just looking out for the customers on that end. Um, just it's gonna be a good day um, it always always is in Durham and uh, I just feel like it's gonna be super busy so looking forward to it we're getting a truck set up and uh, I think we're gonna take it to get a wash before we head to Durham because purple Patrick needs a uh, needs to be cleansed of all the pollen so Wednesday morning time to rock and roll I think it's Monday nights. Um, obviously, you know, I've been reading the Cousins Maine Lobster book, and I had posted to our story when I bought the book and started, started reading it, and they commented, you know, thank you for basically buying the book. Let us know what you think. And so the similarities are mind boggling. What they went through, what we've been through, their numbers and you know we're at that point so I sent them a DM saying hey this is who we are uh, we're in Raleigh we did we beat you guys for best food truck in the triangle through WRL.com carry magazine we're a finalist for 2018 uh, for indie week and our numbers are where yours were in the book and we're kind of at that point and maybe a long shot but do you guys do any consulting franchising wise scaling the business because as we know Cousins Maine Lobster has done a, an amazing job at scaling their food truck to a national chain business and so they actually responded and asked me to send an email um, so they can get their team together and and hop on the phone so you know that's that's pretty cool uh, because we're at the point where I need a team I need the guidance because this you can't do this by yourself and I've carried this by myself to the point that I, I can't do it any longer if I'm going to grow this thing um, like I have in my head so that hopefully that works out um, but if not we will find a uh, kind of some advisors consulting to get this thing where I see it going so the bottom gets wet and so um, I think we're gonna have to go back to like the A-frame vinyl printed even though I really love this but that's in the storefront that'd be great because it would never have to deal with the elements and it's they're not faring too well with the elements so um, I keep throwing money at them because I, I like them. They look great, but they don't last long. And it's uh, getting expensive. So. And ball, that's the point of this, is to tell, to show 
what it takes to operate a food truck and it ain't three to four hours a day. They uh, our customers and see us on see us in person for three to four hours a day, but every day that is no bullshit. Twelve to sixteen plus hours a day and that is just facts and it's not I'm not talking about it being like that, like that's what I'm living. And that's the thing to document this, you know, like it's more for recall, you know, to go back. Um, once we're a national chain company and see uh, yeah, document. That's the whole purpose of this. Document, document, document. Crazy. Um, so now we go through one of these a shift. So 25 pounds is, is a bag. Um, and we definitely blow through that a shift. When I was first getting started and it was just me, I'd fill one of these up. I'd go to Earth Fair in Morrisville and get like five to five to eight pounds of granola and it would legit last like two or three days. Like one of these would last like two to three days. Um, it is crazy where we're at from where we started, that is for sure. It's been a fun ride though. Stressful, but super fun. Learning along the way. A picture of these two tents and say that we've got not one but two tents to keep you in the shade today. Um, and then I just got an email from Square Payroll. That's like the 900th one I've got from them. Um, but I want to say we've got, you know, we'll keep you covered today. And so, but I'm having issues with service, so. Um, Social media is such, it's such a huge tool for anybody, but really for us um, and all the other food trucks. Uh, you know, it allows you to keep up to date with your customers. Like if you're running late, you can post. You, if you're, if you have to cancel, if something, anything comes up, you now have immediate access to your customer base, and it's such a huge, huge tool when used properly. And in my and I don't believe that it's being used, not even on my, I mean, my end, I'm not even using it well, the best that it can be done. Um, I feel I'm pretty average with it, maybe above average with it, but it is such a huge tool, and then you can, like, run the reports on, like, the stats of your engagement, your demographic, like, it is just mind-boggling what you like the, the info, you, the data you can get from a post and then so you know what to target. So um, anyways, just gonna let our customers know that Blue Bolt has two tents to keep them in the shade today because it's going to be a warm one. Do not want to run out of gas. <laughs> Alright now, Mr. Sharp. <laughs> It's got like bubbles in it, and that is not good. Um, decided to go ahead and throw some in, save a stop. Go to the bathroom on the way to the ship and you see a porta potty. 
You hit them up. Wednesday. Pretty smooth, no derrickisms, no mess-ups or um yes, yes. Didn't uh 
Didn't forget anything, and hell, we even got there early. A good day out in Durham, Imperial Center is always a good spot. We're there once a month, so it's a good spot. It's a lot of the offices, there's a ton of them around there, and so we have a lot of those customers, as well as, you know, just people from around, students and other other customers. It's, a, it's super busy and usually there's three trucks there is only us and Gussie's um, which is a Greek food truck and uh, we we're both busy super busy and I think today was the first day we put the two tents out and as I explained you know for the shade but it really looked like people were utilizing it and kind of hanging out there like if you step outside of that and you stand there for 10-15 minutes with the Sun beating on you in the hot asphalt like it gets hot and when you're in your work clothes you don't want to start sweating and have to go back into your office and so you know it was 175 bucks or whatever it was for the tents and weights but dude it's so worth it i believe it's worth it for my customers to have some shade um and then we give bottles of water out so uh just a good day uh, super busy like I think our wait times got up to 20 minutes, uh, but it was all the way down non-stop. So that's Imperial Center once a month. Um, now we're wrapping it up here, getting cleaned down. Last day as a 37 year old. Uh, so looking forward to tomorrow. We've got a 10 to two shift and then we are done we're, we're, we're not gonna have a Thursday evening shift or Friday Saturday or Sunday I'm unplugging gonna spend my birthday with my family that weekend at the beach so super looking forward to unplugging and having that family time because I just I go so hard non-stop uh, that's just that's that's what it takes there's no, no reason to bullshit like you just have to to build something you're not going to do it working eight hours a day that's just facts um and so i've been working on average 16 hour days non-stop since i opened this thing so it's good to take a little break every now and then um spend it with the fam but you know it's uh to be where i'm where we're at is super i'm super thankful for my team the customers um my family for the support so you know reflecting going on a new year for me uh age wise so anyhow it's a good day on the purple truck man um get this thing cleaned down got to probably go look at some properties uh at this month we are going to move into our commissary where i don't know yet we got a couple in the in the loop that we're kind of looking at one serious possibilities to be our commissary but also a storefront probably wouldn't be open every day but it is a possibility and so i'm going to circle back with them today the only issue with that is offloading our water we'd have to do some plumbing to get that to happen because the clean out is at the back of the building and there's not a road that goes around back so anyways just something else to deal with but we're gonna get the hell out of here we're done for the day. It's a great shift. Thank you so much, Durham um, Imperial Center Tri Properties, who has us come out. Um, and thanks, everybody, for your continued support here on YouTube, Facebook, whichever channel you're watching on. So thanks for your attention.